What if I told you that the future of nuclear power can now fit into a school playground? Sounds unbelievable. Hello aspirants, welcome to the new series Technology in News. Today we are diving into something powerful, futuristic and completely made in India. Yes, we are talking about the Bharat small modular reactors. Have you ever wondered how a compact nuclear reactor can power an entire industry? Stick around. This one's going to be really interesting. Recently, the Union Minister of State for Science and Technology, Dr. Jitendra Singh, made an important announcement in the Lok Sabha. He said that India has completed the design stage of its small modular nuclear reactor. Now that's a big leap in clean energy. But wait, what exactly are these reactors? Let's find out. Bharat small modular reactors are advanced versions of our already existing pressurized heavy water reactors. You can think of them as the next generation nuclear reactors. Smaller in size but big on impact. Now how do they work? Let's understand the basic working mechanism of this technology in a step by step manner. First, the nuclear reactor generates heat. This is where the nuclear fission happens. Then, the pressurized water in the primary loop absorbs this heat and transfers it to a steam generator. This heat converts water into steam in the secondary loop and finally, the steam spins the turbine which produces electricity. Simple right? It's like boiling water to turn a fan only with high tech physics involved. Next, what's so special about these reactors? Here's what makes the Bara small modular reactors stand out. Firstly, the capacity which is around 200 megawatts and is perfect for industrial use. And as to who built them, a joint effort by Baba Atomic Research Center and Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited two of India's top nuclear institutions. And guess what? Most of the components are made right here in India, thanks to indigenous vendors. This marks a big step towards Atmanirbhar Bharat. Then what fuel do they use? These reactors run on slightly enriched uranium, a fuel that's efficient and reliable. And the best part? These reactors can power energy intensive industries like steel, cement, and aluminium helping them cut costs and go green. Because of their compact size, Bharat small modular reactors are perfect for remote areas where setting up large power plants is difficult. Imagine a remote village or hilly region getting 24-7 power from just one small reactor. Wait, what about Bharat small reactors? Good question. There's also another project called Bharat small reactors with just 55 megawatt capacity. But hold on, these are still in the early design stage. So for now, Bharat small modular reactors are the real game changer. India aims to achieve a massive 100 gigawatt of nuclear power by 2047. Right now, we are at just 8.1 gigawatt as of March 12, 2025. That's a huge target, don't you think? Do you believe we can achieve it? Drop your thoughts in the comment. That's all for today's episode of Technology News. If you found this interesting, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to Civic Center IAS for more such power packed insights. Until next time, keep learning, keep growing.